Welcome to this week's show. Coming up, a 3D printed cycle time challenge for you to get your jaws into. I mean, I mean your teeth into. Paul visits a company who have purchased their first ever vertical machining centre from Fanuc. We discuss some of the tasty offers currently available within the industry, but to start, something that's grown from XYZ machine tools. The new CT65HD from XYZ, what's different with this machine? Well, the main thing is the turning length. You can now turn parts up to 510 millimetres on this machine. They've been selling HD or CT machines, uh, the 52 and the 65, for many years, but they've been uh, more restricted on the turning length. And in fact, customers that need the ability to turn up to those lengths can now opt for a machine that is in a much smaller footprint. This is a real advantage to XYZ. And with the machine, you can also also do polygon turning uh, because it's heavy duty, it gives you that capability, something that can be really advantageous as a machining process. So you've got 510 millimetres in turning length and the great thing about this is XYZ also offer free training on all new CNC products. And what about the integration of the robo tenders? Well, if you wanted to automate a machine like this, that's possible. And XYZ claim that from just two pound an hour, you could automate a machine like this with the robo tend. It's a brand new model. This is the CT65 HD. So still to come, we hear from Fletcher Moreland, a company that's purchased their first CNC machine. And we have that 3D printing cycle time challenge. But first guys, the CT65 HD, this is a, a prime example of a company listening to their customers and doing something about it. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, if you go back a couple of years, XYZ introduced the new linear rail machines, which were vertical machining centers with, that, that ran on linear rails as opposed to the box guideway, because that was all that they offered. Um, and they did that because some companies don't need box guideway. They want a linear rail machine. Doesn't necessarily have to have the same cutting performance as a heavy mm. duty box guideway machine. So they introduced a product to fit. Worked perfectly for them. This is similar. Companies sometimes need that longer turning length, up to 510 mil on this machine. Uh, and their smaller machines wouldn't, wouldn't cope with that. And at the same time, if they wanted to sell them a machine, they just have to sell them a a bigger machine. Yeah. Footprint's much bigger to get the turning length and of course the customers are going to go well I've got to pay more money, mm. I've got a bigger machine, all I want to do is 510 million length. So mm. now they've plugged that gap nicely with this particular machine. Yeah and Mark you've got some positives on it too. Yeah I, I actually looked at polygon turning actually I didn't know what it was but it's a better uh, process in milling for, for, for blanks isn't it? Well you, I mean it, a polygon, something like this machine will be great for polygon turning for, for the milling perspective because it's very heavy duty it's quite hard to describe uh, how you do polygon turning actually you know use, using my hands but the, the eight, where you're talking about that is the HD factor of this machine, the box guideway construction, vibration we often say is the, is the enemy on the machines and yeah. by having that box guideway heavy duty casting dampens out any vibration which enables you to take heavier cuts and do more difficult operations and polygon turning this machine can do that successfully. Mm. And a couple of other things with XYZ, I mean uh, it, it, is it new, the touchscreen, or, or is it something that they're it, introducing? It, it, it's lovely. I love the touchscreen control. And the great thing about this as well is when you look at these touchscreen controls these days, you often think they look nice and shiny in the showroom. But what about when I've got oil on my hands yeah, and coolant on my you hands? So that, are the screens going to work? Are they going to mm. respond? Um, they, all, those things, all those factors are eliminated. So the touchscreen really does work as well as your phone would. And, right. and, and not only do XYZ offer great machines, great value, it's also the training that they give you as well. Because it, it, you know, it's quite intense, isn't it? Or as much as you need, isn't it? It is. And, mm -hmm. and I would say that they've done, um, over this period that's been tricky, there with Nigel Atherton last week, looking at the machines and uh, inquiry levels and sales, they've actually come through this um, pandemic having sold still quite a lot of kit and every day on day out inquiries are getting greater so that's good yeah. to hear. Yeah and I saw you having a little bit of a laugh with him as well. Yes. Right okay next fun. up um, oh I need to give a shout out as well to I think it's Gio Dangio. You made a comment on last week's Swarf and Chip show and all of the Marvel nerds here want to give you a Swarf and Chips goodie bag. So Pretty isn't it? Perfectly balanced as all things should be. So if you get in touch with us, we'll get one sent out to you. Ooh. 
Right, okay, Fletcher Moreland recently purchased their first CNC machine, a Fanuc Robo Drill. So let's hear from the operator and see how successful this has been. Matthew, you got this robo drill here. Can you tell us about the um, the materials that you can cut on these machines? Uh, you know, and what experience you've got in the different materials when you're machining them. Uh, the different materials that we use on this, a lot of it is aluminium, but we have done up to tool, uh, D2 tool steel. We've also cut copy. The swarf that it gives off is very much the same. And what, what about the strategy that you need to incorporate to, to cut those harder materials? Is there much that changes? It, it just the only thing that changes is the depth of your cuts that you do. Obviously, you, the strong, the tougher the material, the, the quicker your tips are going to wear. So you just need to reduce everything down, really. And what about the BBT30? Because it is a 30 taper, and you've used 40 tapers before. Do you yeah. see much difference on those harder materials? Does the machine vibrate? Do you get no, uh, worse surface finishes? No, I think this, this, this gives a very good surface finish. It, even with the, the, the strongest steels, it, it's, not, it's, it's a very good machine. It's, do, you, do you use it in combination with um, through spindle coolant on the harder materials? Yeah. It's got through spindle and it's also got the external spin uh, coolants as well. Could you just give us a summary about the materials you cut on this machine, Matthew? Uh, we cut various different steels, different grades of steels, but in, in general, the, the swarf that comes off it is very much the same, and the surface finish that we get through all the steel products is the same. There's no difference. So would you say that the BBT30 performs in some measures uh, the same as some BT40 machines? Yeah, very much so, yes. So we learned about the materials. He's clearly very happy with the machine, but why did they purchase that machine in the first place? Well, I, I, looking at the uh, company on their website, they're, they're big into repairs and servos and automation cells. You know, it, it's very much about electric repairs. So I would say a company that's in that sort of marketplace, having a, a, a product like the uh, Robo Drill, I mean, it's, it's, it, you know, it's very versatile, isn't it? So therefore, if you've got different types of jobs coming in, you've got a lot of uh, opportunity there. And also, like the guy's saying, you know, it's very much down to the actual uh, material. material. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. quite interesting that sometimes people buy Robo Drills and they because they want the high speed chip to chip times. Yep. This isn't about this because this is about, as you said, repairs, retrofits and... Um, yeah, repair, retrofit and replace is the, is the sort of slogan behind the company. Um, very happy with the machine. You know, this guy was employed to actually run it, got to grips with it quickly. Perfect installation. I think the interesting thing about this was when I went there, they repair pumps. A lot of their products are pumps. And it took me back to when I used to be a service engineer. And there's oh, no. no joke in this. Oh, I'm, I was, I'm I was thinking serious. there was a joke coming in. I used to serve one of my second or third jobs was actually repairing pumps and used to strip them down and used to do this in the factory but sometimes you'd do it on site and I'll never forget there was a, a week there was a it was a bank holiday Easter weekend and I had to go to this pump station in St Neots which is in Cambridgeshire not far from here and we had to repair this pump which the whole power station had stopped okay so we repaired this pump it was the Thursday before Good Friday got to about five o'clock and I was only about 20 years of age and I thought right that's it I'm, I'm done the, the, the power I thought it's, it's going to work now but this pump was still leaking and I thought and I took the integral part oh, in the back of the van home turned my phone off for the weekend because I had a mate coming to stay for the weekend. The power station didn't work for the whole weekend and when I turned my phone on on Tuesday morning and uh, and so, so I was in a bit of trouble as you can imagine after that but I always when I walked around Fletcher Moreland and I saw all these pumps there <laughs> stripped down I thought oh, wow that, that brings back some memories. Yeah, yeah now you're a managing director of a company. So if you had no company. power and you were in St Neots I think it must have been about I don't know 1995 something oh, like that. Great story. Yeah. Probably yeah. responsible. Yes probably yeah. 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 No Easter eggs that weekend. Oh dear, you are funny, Paul. Right, okay, next up is the Cycle Time Challenge. And this isn't about removing material, but this is adding material. And I did this one, and I'm going to give you a clue. Dun it, dun it. Dun it, dun it, dun it, dun it. No? Uh, oh, oh, uh, right. Finding Nemo? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right, okay, just play the Cycle Time Challenge. The film Jaws is two hours and 10 minutes long. That shark doesn't appear until one hour and 21 minutes in. How many minutes does that shark have of airtime within the film? 
I'll answer it at the end of this cycle time challenge. So this set of jaws is made on the Mark Ford desktop range. So how long does it take to make this pair of jaws made out of nylon and carbon fibre, also known as Onyx, on the desktop range in minutes? Put your guesses in the comments box below. And also the answer to the jaws question, that poor shark only got four minutes. See, I'm not only full of knowledge, but I can go dun it, dun it in a scary way. Get yeah. it now, get yeah. it now. If, get it. Yeah, if yeah. you yeah. would have bought your Aston Martin, in, I would have yeah. got it. Oh, all right then. Why, it's not James Bond. <laughs> what are you talking about? Jaws. Oh, oh Jaws. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. That's the Jaws I was thinking of. Yeah, the one with the teeth. Through the electric uh, cables. Oh, yeah, but that's yeah. like way before my time, guys. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you're showing your age. Anyway, right, you're guessing. Rude. <laughs> I think, I, I mean, we get HK is obviously the supplier of these machines through the engineering technology group, and we'll come back to some of the deals coming up later yeah. in the show. But for me, I think, I, you know, 3D printing is a difficult one because it's sometimes not all about speed. It's sometimes about no. what you, you can achieve with it. Yeah. So I'm going to probably say, I don't know, an hour and a half, 90 okay. minutes. Right. Yeah, it's quite interesting material, isn't it? Nylon and, and carbon fiber. You know, how do you know that they're, they're going to be as uh, you know rigid and, and holding something like uh, metallics? But you know, it's just a, such an interesting process that they come up. But when you look at aerospace, for instance, they're using a lot of uh, carbon products on the fuselages and the wings, for instance. You, you can understand with something like this being made for. It's like for your bike, though. That's made out of carbon, and when you had that accident the other week, that yep. didn't get damaged at all. Yet you did. You did. Uh, so. This is this is very true. So therefore, I would say um, I was in the back of the ambulance for around about forty <laughs> minutes. So okay, forty minutes. Forty that? minutes, nice, yeah. right? Okay. Well, don't forget to put your guesses in the comments box below. So as you'll know, it's a buyer's market at the moment. So over recent weeks, we have been inundated with requests to promote deals and promotions all aimed at supporting the industry. Having seen the level of inquiries coming through the MTD CNC platform, it's evident that campaigns like this are good for sellers and buyers. So let's take a look and see. So we're here at XYZ Machine Tools and I'm looking at a UMC 5X. This is a five axis machining centre. Now every working day of the year, uh, an engineer will buy his first five axis machine. Is it the right time for you to do that? To step up from a single table to a multi-pallet machine will allow the customer to run unmanned, reduce the man dependency on more than one machine. So one machine could do the work of two, three or sometimes four single table machines. Now this is normally a £150,000 machine which is available for sale now at just £110,000. That is a huge, huge discount. So for example the VM10 I've got behind, behind me, we've got a nice X demo offer, £35,900 for the, the basic machine plus all the options just to get someone up and running and going installed and, and trained and everything. Now this machine is ready for delivery at less than £187,000, so contact NCMT straight away. However, they are, if you purchase one in June, giving away a free machine alongside the purchase. The MV134 Quasar machine. Why would you encourage somebody to, you know, increase their milling capacity considering this range of machines? So the, the Quasar brand itself, again, um, we've talked about the vertical machining range. So the 134, 600, all the way up through to the to the two meter. It stands for quality and and service. Well, this particular centric gripper um, with serrated grippers and um, fixed jaw, modular centric vise, you can pick up at 500 pounds. What's the special offer on this stock machine? Well, NCMT don't normally offer machines with a price tag, but they are today. You can pick this machine up for less than £142,000, so contact NCMT for more information. So in what 
we could say has maybe been a gloomy time. There's some positive news here. Manufacturing's moving. It was really interesting. About six weeks ago, everything was really quiet. Even even for us, we, mm. we weren't out of you know for obvious yeah. reasons. And then you take one phone call. I've got this particular machine. I could do with promotion on this product. Mac didn't happen. I've got a new technology yeah. I want to promote. And then it kind of just snowballed, didn't it? It was yeah. like. Uh, uh, you do two or three and then you've got everyone else wanting to to push what products they've got this campaign has been excellent i mean just to mention a few etg giving away a 3d printer for free yeah. with a machine purchase whether it be nakamura quasar or the vulcan range uh, there's a robo cut machine on the on on the promotion from 140,000 down to 110 that's an edm solution and i know mark will talk about some of the success we've had on the campaign with with edm uh herco um vm10s for 36,000 pounds herco 5 axis 130k xyz 5 axis and hd machines heavy duty ones that we spoke about microlock brothers speedios belia's work holding there's so much stuff on the mtd website yeah. to have a look at and uh, great deals. And great deals. Yeah. Yeah. Added to that, we've we've putting out uh, an email to to the whole of our database as well to actually promote uh, the, the special offers once once a week. But uh, you know, I was with NCMT with Geo, and we was doing some. Uh, um, stock machines with prices the first time ncmt have actually put prices on machines for both makino on the edm side and also uh, of their kumas but they actually sold uh, a makino edm based on uh, an original order to be fair but uh, the customer cancelled it but he saw the video and he wanted it you know it's, mm. it's pushing and i think when we look at our video diary over the next six weeks now it's pretty packed yeah yeah and it's it's good because it's not just it is supporting industry. You know, the engineers are getting a good deal if they're in a position to buy. The manufacturers of products are able to move plant on, which they may have had in stock, and nobody wants to carry too much. And finance deals are and happening. And finance deals are happening. So, and all of this gets the wheels of industry going. Yeah. So, you know, watch this space, tune into MTD. The page is on the screen now. Um, every day there is new, new products going on. Yeah. We've got loads of visits up and coming too. Okay, well, that's it. Now, don't forget, if you like Swarf and Chips, you'll like all of our other channels and features as well. So these include our podcast, our bi-monthly magazine, our network and MFG channels, all positioned to provide the industry with the latest news and information. So guys, before we go, latest viewing figures are in. How large is our reach now? Go, guess, go, guess. 750,000 probably per month around that, I would say. No, and it was 650 a couple few months ago. Yeah, we're sort of a percentage. I reckon 800,000. 850,000. Wow. Okay. So we're going to go. So there you go. Um, well, thanks for this week. Thank you for watching. And as we always say, gents, keep, keep those, those spindles, spindles turning. turning.